Ron Lieber, what exactly is the opposite of spoiled? The opposite of spoiled is the constellation of values, virtues, and character traits like modesty, patience, thrift, generosity, uh, perseverance, grit, uh, curiosity about your place in the world um, that adds up to the uh, kinds of kids that we all want to push out into the world uh, once they're 18 and we're done with them. Well, should a child be curious about how much money his or her parent makes and should that parent tell that child? They absolutely should be curious. Uh, money is a source of mystery, but it's also a source of power, or they perceive it that way. So they want to know who has what and how it works and how it came to be. And in their own household, they want to know what their parents have and how much their parents make. Now, you don't tell them until they are ready. And they are not ready until about 10 years of conversation has gone by. So you start with allowance at 5. You know, maybe they get a debit card at 10. You know, they learn the household budget at 12. You put them through those drills. You make sure that they can keep private things private, and then maybe it's 16 or 17, it's ready for, they're ready to be told. You mentioned an allowance. Is an allowance a good idea? Have there ever been any studies done that prove that an allowance makes a child who understands money? As always with social science studies, it is very difficult to prove causation and to isolate uh, you know, individual points of impact. Um, but there are plenty of correlational stories, that, uh, correlational studies that show that um, kids who had a regular allowance uh, and did some saving and did some spending uh, end up 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years later with better financial habits, more savings, and less debt as adults. Another thing you bring up in the book is whether or not a child should have a part-time job. Because a lot of parents say, you know something, just study. That's all I want you to do. Don't get a job after school. What's your view? Well, one of the things that's happened as college admissions have gotten that much more competitive is that parents think that the kids really need to load up on the academics and load up on the extracurriculars. And you know, all those things are true to a certain extent, uh, but you are competing with other kids with you know, all of the same extracurricular activities as you do. And nobody really works after school anymore. There are all sorts of studies that show that academic performance does not suffer as long as you don't work too much, maybe 10 or 15 hours a week. You can certainly work full time in the summer. And if you have something really interesting to say about money and work or a business that you started as a teenager that really turned into something and, and made you passionate, that makes you a perfectly attractive college admissions candidate. And then finally, how do you make sure your kid is not the definition of spoiled? How do you make sure your kid's not materialistic? Right. Well, one of the things about spoiled kids is that they don't have a lot of rules. Um, they don't have a lot of consequences if they break the rules that they do have. Uh, and the parents um, uh, sort of lavish them with time and attention. So you'll, you'll note that none of those things have anything to do with money. Uh, rich people, affluent people, the upper middle class, they do not have uh, a monopoly on fostering entitlement in children. Um, there's only one other part of the definition of the spoiled that has anything to do with material possessions. So one of the things you need to think about is making sure that there are rules and structures in place that the kids have to follow. And the money stuff, you can actually worry about that a little bit less. As long as you've set them up so that they can only get some of what they want, they have to make trade-offs, they need to be patient, they need to save, they need to weigh one thing against another, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to be raising some decent young people. All right. Thanks a lot, Ron. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching The Street.